In today's video, we are going to talk about how to appease, how to appease a spirit spouse. I see comments on a very popular video doing the rounds on TikTok. And this young lady asks, how do I appease this thing so that it is happy with me? I'm going to tell you how we appease a spirit spouse, how we satisfy a spirit spouse. Firstly, let us talk about what a spirit spouse is, where it can come from, and what it does to show you that it is in your life. Okay, first thing is first, what is a spirit spouse? A spirit spouse is exactly that. It is something, an entity that is in your life, that is there in place of your spouse. It is always with you. It is always talking to you. It is always reinstating its covenant with you. And it is always making itself known to you. So it is an entity. Where can a spirit spouse come from? Well, there are a few different places. First things first, a spirit spouse comes as a generational stronghold. Okay? Generations. Snakes, shrines, altars, marine kingdoms coming down the bloodlines. Generational. Secondly, spirit spouse comes from sexual sin. People that you have fornicated with. Thirdly, spirit spouse comes from masturbation. The witches and warlocks in the neighborhoods, they're demons that walk around in the middle of the night and we find you masturbating in your bedroom spirit spouse masturbation and pornography you open yourself spiritually okay so what does our traditional healers traditional people say about spirit spouse they say no man this thing is not bad it's your guide it's your angel it's your grandfather that is there for your protection leave it you can't get rid of it you can just appease it you can just make it happy when it comes to have sex with you at night when it comes to rape you from behind at night when you wake up and there's something pushing you down and violating you just appease ask that thing grandfather what message are you trying to tell me okay that is the short form of a spirit spouse which is an incubus or succubus spirit. Now, the meat of the message. How to appease this thing? With crop salt? Can you appease it by letting it violate you? Can you appease it by putting cinnamon under your bed? Can you appease it by tying a black rope around your waist? Can you appease it by bathing in chase fluid? Can you appease it by going to the river to cleanse? You cannot. There is no appeasing a demon. A spirit spouse is a demonic entity from Satan's kingdom that is there to reinstate covenant with you through sex, in your dreams, through orgasm, through wet dreams, through sexual intercourse in your dreams, through sexual intercourse with you just before or while you are on your period. That spirit spouse comes because why? Blood was given as its initial covenant. As the initial ritual. You cannot appease a spirit spouse. You cannot satisfy a demon. That thing wants and wants and wants. What are the signs that you have a spirit spouse in your life? Blocked financial blessings. Blocked marriage stagnation and delay sickness different types of sickness those are the four common signs of a spirit spouse that thing shows you it is there through your dreams through the sexual dreams it shows you it is there through sexual dreams that thing keeps its covenant with you through masturbation you feed it that thing keeps its covenant with you through fornication. You feed it with sexual energy. When you are masturbating, when you are sleeping around and you give off your sexual energy, you are feeding that demon that is there. It is not your grandfather. 
It is not your guide or your spirit guide or your guardian angel. It is a demon from the pit of hell. You cannot appease it. That thing is stealing and sucking the life out of your life. It is sucking the life out of your life. That's why people with spirit spouses, there is no marriage. If you are lucky enough to get marriage, married, that marriage is not a marriage. It's living hell. A spirit spouse sucks finances. It sucks energy. It sucks even physical energy. When people wake up from a dream where that thing came to have sex with that person, you have no energy. Your body is painful. You can feel that you've been violated. Stop lying to yourself and saying, Oh, this book came from the white man, came from Europe with the ships. So this book we cannot follow. The answer to breaking, not appeasing, you cannot appease it. The answer to breaking a spirit spouse covenant is in this book. It is the only book that has the answer to breaking it. And that is through prayer and fasting, curse breaking and deliverance. Before you attempt to break your covenant with a spirit spouse, you must cut off all sin in your life. You have to cut it off. That boyfriend, you have to say bye-bye if he's not planning to marry you. That hookup, you have to say bye-bye. That pornography and masturbation, you have to stop it. Because that is the food for the spirit spouse. After you stop those things, repentant. Lord, I repent for what I have been doing. Then, renunciation. Lord, I renounce this thing. I confront the altar where the spirit spouse came in. I confront the legal right that I have given to the spirit spouse. Lord, I break it. Lord, I confront the dreams that the spirit spouse is coming through. I break it. Serious prayer and fasting. Curse breaking and deliverance. Curse breaking and deliverance. Where there is someone that knows how to handle spirit spouse covenant. To go into deliverance with you. And break that covenant. Then that thing is going to manifest. And you, the person that is going through deliverance with you is going to tell it. Your powers, your covenants are broken. Come out of this person and go to the pit. And then you move like a snake. The spirit spouse leaves. The covenant is broken. You start to see your blessings, your abundance, the promises. The promises that this God of this book that created the world has planned for your life. You cannot appease a spirit spouse. It is a demonic entity that is draining the life out of your life. You break its covenant. Praying fasting, curse breaking, deliverance, deliverance, the same ministry, the same ministry that Christ came and the Bible says he cast many demons out of many people. It is a demon that has to be cast out. I pray people will open their ears and stop this thing of appeasing. Stop this thing of listening. Ah, oh, that is your grandfather that wants to send you a message that is protecting your life. Rubbish. There is no one that will claim to be protecting you but be violating you. And you waking up with pain. You waking up knowing, man, this thing was not right. Spirit spouses cannot be appeased. But their covenants can be broken and they can be cast to the pit where they belong because they are demonic entities that make covenant with people through sexual sin and generational curses. God bless.